Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, and welcome to our YouTube channel, the number one place for Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen of the day is by Alex T called Grids. As you can see, it's got the 4.2.1 notification scroll down setup, and as you can see, if we tap here, bing, bing, taps it back and forth. Pretty cool. So let's have a look at this home screen again in a little bit more detail. As I've said before, tapping there will bring up your play around screen. We've got our little music widget there, pretty cool. We've got our RSS feed right here. And switching back, we've got all these amazing icons that, as you know, say tapping the dialer will bring up the dialer, as well as bring up all of these. These are all UCCW hotspots, so you can open up whatever you want. You've also got your little user icon right there. And finally, got your little location and tapping there will bring up your app drawer. Another cool thing about this home screen, it is using Nova. So yes, Navorians, do not fear. I'll be showing you how to do this in Nova, but don't worry, the guys from Apex, you guys can still do the exact same thing. Now, cool thing about all of these little icons or tiles is that they're available from the Play Store. That's right, no more copying and unzipping and doing all that funky stuff. Just go straight to the Play Store, unzip, download, and there you have it. Let us begin with today's tutorial. Okay, starting from your stock Nova launcher, we're gonna push our menu button and go into our Nova settings. Now, don't worry, if you've been using Apex for a long time, all the options are exactly the same. So we're going to our desktop, go into our desktop grid and you want to change it to a 10 by 9. Next you want to take off shadow, home screens, you want two home screens, that's right, for back and forth. Obviously if you want to add more with more tiles, you're welcome to add more screens. Scroll effects, you get a few to choose from from the free version, but I chose accordion because it looks pretty cool. Next you want to resize all widgets, widgets overlap and overlap when placing, very important. But don't worry, it should come with the free version. Go back, go into our dock settings. So you want to enable the dock and also dock as overlay. Might come in handy. And that is it. We'll go back. Nova settings done. You just want to change the wallpaper now. So we'll just hold down. We'll choose wallpapers. See, it's exactly the same as Apex. We'll go quick pick. Look for the folder called grids that you've copied to your phone. And this wallpaper is provided by Black Bear Blank. It says Nexus at the top. So if you don't want that, we're just going to make it away from the, the Nexus and go OK. Boom. So you can't really see it now, but it's got this awesome carbon look effect looks really makes your phone look professional now so once that's done we're going to move on to the most important part the widgets let's start off with the uccw widgets so one thing you want to do is let's start by holding down nova actions going into our app drawer and we just want to put that into our dock so if you had to scroll it from one side to the other this would stay here so we're going to open that we're going to go into our play store and we want to download those tiles by alex t so you want to go search search for grid as you can see there's a free version UCCW Themes Grid, which comes with all these colorful tiles, and there are quite a few to choose from. But I recommend going into UCCW Theme Grids. You have to pay for it, but it comes with a lot more icons. It is crazy. I really, really recommend buying these tiles if you enjoy them. You won't be disappointed. So once you've installed them, we'll go back, hold down on the home screen. You want to choose widgets, UCCW. Now you want a 3x1. You don't have a 3x2, which is the size that you need, so you just have to resize it. Yeah. So now you don't have to go use it for these. As you can see, an orange icon here indicates that it's been downloaded. So let's say if we want the files folder, we'll just select it and it'll come loading. Just what you just tap for the hand. If it doesn't always appear, maybe just resize it down, give it some time to do its thing, tap it again. There we have our files. So you always want a 3x2 size so that it can make a nice looking grid. I'll just add another one, and as you can see, I've just added the dialer one. So now you wanna add three across and four down. Now you might be thinking, well, how do I get those awesome gray dark ones? All you have to do is tap the icon to open up the editor. Here's the UCCW editor. And as you can see, it's green for now over here. So if you just drag that and pull it down in the corner, make it pure black, go okay, back, boom, it will just, then you shake it around a little, and it turns dark. So now if you'd like to see what the colorful ones look like, I'll just open up Apex Launcher. As you can see here, all the colorful ones, they look really cool if you enjoy the colorful ones. Going back to the Nova one here. So the next thing you want to do for these UCCWs is that if you want to make it open something, you're going to have to set that hotspot for that skin that you have just applied. So to do that, we'll just tap it. Brings up the editor again. And if you see, you can only go into controls one and you'll go right to the bottom and it says hotspot one no hotspots assigned. Well, you want to assign a hotspot. If you want to say an app, say Facebook or Twitter, you'll go into app, but for the dialer especially, you'll go into UCCW and you want to select the dialer. So that's when you tap it, it'll have the dialer. As you can see, it's got a little notification there as well if you have a missed call, really, really handy. 
I'd also like to add that the user icon and the emails are not included as downloading it from the Play Store will not enable you to edit it like you would a normal user. Cool, so we're now back with our original screen that we are working on. So you're gonna be adding in all of these screens, in all these tiles, and like I said, if you wanna just change the color, you just change it in the editor. So next we wanna be adding in our two top and bottom bars that complete the screen. You'll go back into UCCW. You want the long one, it'll be a five by one. So you'll have to resize it after that though. So for the first screen, you want a top bar grids. And then if it's like this, you just have to resize it. But resize it to there. We'll come back to that now. Scroll to this screen and we'll add it to that screen as well. So as you can see, this is just the other option, other style that I've used. Great, so once we have the top bar, we need to just add in the bottom bar. Here we have our bottom bar. Okay, so your bar should look something like this. Now remember we've added the dock. So this is a very important step. We want to go resize, resize it across there. And now resize it like that because now it is behind the dock and you cannot re-edit it and besides going into the options and over settings again and changing and taking off the dock resizing it and then putting it back so as you can see tapping it does not do anything pretty cool so now if you want to have a static location all you have to do now is get rid of all of this this app draw these icons at the top screenshot and then save that as your wallpaper that's if you don't want this thing to change and you just want to save having one less widget on your screen but i'm just going to leave it like this for now so now you want to get, have this app draw because we want to edit it, select the icon, go files, quick pick, copy a blank PNG to your phone, select it, go OK, and now it has disappeared. You want to do this to the other screen as well. If you scroll across, I've already applied it here. And because it's a dock, you don't have to worry about placing another app draw. How cool is that? As you can see, I've just added a few more there so it doesn't look so bare. Next, we're going to be adding into our screen jumpers so you don't have to swipe like this. That's so 2012. So we're going to hold down in that corner there. You want to go Nova Actions, jump to page. If you're on page one, remember to go to page two. And if you're in page two, hold down, Nova Actions, jump to page. You want to go to page one. So when you tap that one, it'll jump to this page. And when you tap this one, it'll jump to this page if you have two screens. Obviously, you have to change it if you have more than two screens. So for now, for this one, if it, gets, if it keeps jumping to one page, remember, you can always just hold it down here and then go edit. Select the picture, select files, change it to your blank PNG, go OK. Now you must remember it's still there. So we're just going to drag it back there. That just saves you if it goes crazy jumping from back and forth. Now you just want to drag this back to its original position, resize it over there. Now it might be in front of it, so you just want to hold down and say send to back. Remember you must have overlapping widgets enabled. Do it to the same for this side and it should look something similar to this. So hopefully you've set up your home screen like this. So we want to make these hotspots now because just tapping this now and a lot of people complain about this, it just opens up this. You want to, don't want to do that every time you touch your phone. So now there are two things you can either do because now you've set your hotspots for these. If you don't want it to open up anything in your hotspot mode, you just say clear hotspot and it'll not do anything. So now you've set them all, set them all up quite nicely. Tap on any of the widgets, go options, hotspots mode, on. That is it. You'll say enabling hotspots mode. So now when you tap the dialer, opens up that dialer. But remember, do it, add in all your tiles first. Otherwise you have to turn off hotspots in the main app drawer. Finally, we'll be adding in our extra widgets, Minimal Reader Pro as seen here, as well as Google Play Music, this widget over here. Now to add them is very easy. The Google Play Music should come stock with your phone. If not, you'll have to use another music widget for this or download it from the Play Store if it's available. And it's quite easy to add. You just hold down, add widget, add this to your phone. It's pretty cool. This one's a bit more tricky. You have to download Minimal Reader Pro. It's a paid version, but it's highly recommended. I added the scrollable version and you just bring up the options if you tap the three little dots. So you add in your feed, go to your options, make all of these transparent for text size, made medium. News color title was white, content color gray, as well as the date color gray as well. What you can do now is hide the buttons and hide the counter. Don't worry though, it'll not disappear. As you can see here, it has still got them, but they're just hidden. So you just want to resize that over there. They'll still be here, but you want to go options, send to back, because now it'll be behind the music widget, which is cool. And as you can see, I just added a little tile, RSS tile right there, just so it fits in the theme. If you don't like the RSS feed for your other screen, 
we go back to my Apex, I just added in a calendar. You can just use simple calendar widgets and have a calendar. And then we have our home screen completed. I hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Sorry if it's been a bit of a long one, but you know Alex T, he always goes all out for creating amazing home screens. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as our videos are continually growing. You're never going to miss out on a great video. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and I'll see you around next time. Thank you.